welcome to another Pollen TV on TikTok, YouTube. I'm going everywhere, baby. But today, history is not like you think it is. Many great stories about great things are told to boost someone's ego or people's ego into downplay other people in the process. Today, we go to the history books and we go to the great book of the King James Bible. They banned some books and that's where we're going to the banned books of the King James Virgin to bring you the real story of Alexander the Great. I know you say Alexander the Great, but by the end of this episode, we're going to find out the real deal holy field about Alexander the Great and what he done to other races. This is Pollen TV, man. Real spit, man. We on. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Hit something. Hit your neighbors. Hit somebody. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Pollen TV on Real Spit. We available on YouTube. We are everywhere. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. But today, we are talking about Alexander the Great. But before we get to Alexander the Great, I want you to point out a few things. If you don't know, Israel and Egypt are located in Africa. Once totally black if you study everything they left behind. But in ancient Greece, through artifacts and notes left behind, was Greece black once? And if so, what happened to his people that left so much rich history behind? To study this, that it brought us to the banded books in the Bible, the Maccabees 1 and 2. The two books of Maccabee contain the most detailed account of the battle of Judea Maccabee and his brothers for the liberation of Judea in a foreign domination. And yet these two books are banned and missing from the Bible. Stories claim a rabbi escaped Roman persecution from Israel and began a base in Jama. He kept all accounts of what he saw and knew. One person, this person mentioned Alexander the Great. Yes, Alexander the Great is in the Bible. The son of Philip of Macedonia, not Greece. So he was not from Greece. He was from Macedonia. Like some rappers saying they're from Atlanta, but they're from somewhere else in College Park. That's the same thing going here. He's from another whole side. Macedonia. When he marched from Macedonia and attacked Darius, who is the king of Persia and Media, a country called Media. Alexander then enlarged his empire by invading Greece. Like I say, the great from Macedonia now, not from Greek or any Greece. He got his throne by defeating Darius in season seizing his throne. He fought battles, captured city, and put queens and kings to death. He plundered nations and become proud and ignorant. Building a nation and strong army, he dominated and forced taxes on people the same way the Romans did on black Israel. Heavy, heavy taxes. But Alexander fell ill and knew he was going to die. Alexander then called his generals in and decided to divide his empire. And that's when it got tricky because these states and countries did not exist before this. He called all his generals in and divided his empire and the general war crowns on the head as soon as Alexander died. Like the Rothschilds, 
Hmm. Why he was left out. He showed the brutal takeover of stolen land and culture, pushing the Greeks, Europe, and Northern Africa full of gold to be whitewashed. We see in Europe with only black knights and pictures to stolen art that once was black. These black knights couldn't be white because at the time there wasn't no white knights. In the photos, they tried to put a white knight. That was a replica picture. They didn't know it because of the features of the art. Also, we know in Greece, England, the Queen, Vatican, they got pictures of black people in Greece, black people in Rome, black people in Israel. Also, the war-torn people that everybody got in the news. Mother Russia got pictures, stolen art from the period of time that they invaded black countries. Because at the time, Europe and all that don't have gold like that. America was taken the same way Alexander the Great took the cultures from these other countries. Columbus is celebrated despite the scrawny black culture that greeted him with a golden spear. Omitting the holy word to hide your skin, the sins is a direct violation to God itself. What else are you hiding? Pollen TV research take it to Professor McNeil 1920 book Phrases of Irish History give us information on the Greek. Greece was populated with blacks and showed the original European had black, very dark brown complexion. The original known blacks in Europe existed until the early 1800s. McNeil added a group of black British people near the south of Wales was a fierce resistance to the Roman Empire. Ireland also was populated showing black characteristics. The invasion of these areas occurred around 600 BC. Black Israel was invaded by Rome in 63 BC. Black kings in these territories was taken over and sometimes they found other roads, sometimes off with their heads. The Celtic language of the day is not the people, but the language the current population speaks. They conquered Black Rome, Italy, and Spain. Black people with stolen land fought back in those days. England crumbled by the attacks, the black people came back to get their land. They were later driven out of England, Wales, Ireland, and other areas. Check the relics. It have nothing but black faces like valuable stuff held by the museums worldwide. The Queen of England Rock Jews scrape from these stolen lands. We got America, the Vatican's, China, Japan, Africa, and definitely Mother Russia, who put it all over the walls, all on their TVs. Black Jesus, black this. And they show paintings of our black asses on their wall, way overseas. Pollen TV. Hit me up. Look out for more information on black history. We go deep, man. We ain't playing. No games. Hit that like. Hit the subscribe. It's not really hard. Just hit the button. Till next time, follow TV. Let's go.